The American Orville Wright was first to fly in a power-driven airplane. On September 17, 1903, at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, he flew 120 feet in 12 seconds in his machine, the Flyer. Gabriel Vincent of France experimented with gliders at Burke-sur-Mer in 1905. He later used pontoon-fitted gliders at Biancourt and Lake Geneva. Alberto Santos Dumont, one of the great pioneers in aviation, flew 200 feet before formal observers from the Aerial Club of France at the Bagatelle Cavalry Grounds in Paris on October 23, 1906. He bettered this performance on November 12th with 270 feet in 7 and 1 half seconds and 721 feet in 21 and 2 fifth seconds. On November 13, 1907, Paul Cornu lifted himself and his helicopter-type machine a few inches with a 24-horsepower motor. On June 7, 1907, President Theodore Roosevelt flew with Orville Wright. In congratulating Wright on his achievements, the President expressed his belief in the importance of the future role of aviation to the world. Aviation was born in America, but it was in Europe, and particularly in France, that it had its greatest early growth. In addition to the accomplishments of Voisin and Santos Dumont, Maurice and Henri Farma were early airplane builders as well as pilots. In 1908, in France, Léon Lavasseur built the Antoinette, one of the best known and most reliable aircraft of its day. It was a monoplane powered by a 58 horsepower engine. Rebuffed at home, the Wright brothers demonstrated their Wright flyer near Le Mans, France on August 8, 1908. Disbelief in the Wright claims was dispelled, and the plane was purchased by France. After France, Italy was one of the first European countries to become interested in aviation. On February 9, 1909, De Lagrange of Rome formed an aviation club and invited Wilbur Wright to bring his plane to Rome to give flying lessons to Umberto Savoia, Prince of Italy, and Mario Calderara, who was to become one of Italy's most famous aviators. Santos Dumont, during September 1909, exhibited his aircraft, the Demoiselle. An aviation meeting was held by the Champagne industry in August 1909 in France. Henri Farma won the distance prize. Subsequently, in France, multi-winged airplanes were constructed to accommodate heavier loads, but they were abandoned because of their inefficiency. On July 25, 1909, the French pilot Louis Blériot was first to fly the English Channel from Calais to Dover and won a prize of 4,000 francs. The Blériot single-seater high-winged monoplane used on this flight is now exhibited at the Museum of Arts and Crafts in Paris. It was powered by a single air-cooled engine. On March 8, 1910, Baroness Draymond de la Roche became the first woman to receive a pilot's license. Also in March 1910, the first hydroplane was built by the French engineer Henri Fabra and flown over the Bay of Marseille. Nicknamed the Canard, or Duck, it was powered by a 50 horsepower engine and weighed over 800 pounds. On September 23, 1910, Peruvian Georges Chavez was first to cross the Alps. On May 31, 1910, the American Glenn Curtis flew his June bug from Albany to New York City at an average of 50 miles per hour and won a prize of $10,000. In 1910, the first passenger plane, the Lal Bassar, was constructed in France. In August 1912, Samuel Cody won the British military airplane competition with his towering biplane, the Flying Cathedral. U.S. Army Captain Albert Berry made the first parachute jump from the Benoit's biplane of Tony Janus near St. Louis, Missouri on March 1, 1912, at an altitude of 1,500 feet. In September 1913, the French pilot Adolphe Pegu became the world's first master of aerobatics, performing the loop and other evolutions. Pegu's flying ability induced airplane builder Louis Blériot to develop new techniques. These experiments were conducted in 1913 under the auspices of the French Navy with the idea of the future use of aviation in naval warfare. Later the same year, in France, Adolphe Pegu parachuted from his Blériot airplane as the plane crashed. The year of 1914 marked the dawn of aerial warfare with the start of World War I.